Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Hello, Miss Lissa. I'm so glad you're here. Julie Smurf. Hello, Jen Needs. You're new. Oh, that reminds me. Email. Let's see. Eh, getting techy. Are you impressed? <laughs> Hello, Miss Nancy. Julie Smurf, Julie Smurf, Smurf, <laughs> Julie Smurf. First time here. Well, thanks for coming. Hello, Belinda. Hello, Sally. Hello, Fiona. Oh, we have Christmas. So much Christmas. Say hi, babes. Say hi, babes. Hello. Hello. Babes burned his finger at work today, so we were worried that he wouldn't be able to play Name That Tune for shipping. All right. I can't play what I wanted to play, so I picked uh, something else. All right. Let me put um, for new people. We're shipping from Rochester, New York. Send email to antiques from Karen. That's me. Email.com with your address, your real name, your screen name, and your PayPal address. Hello, book. Hello, Brett. And then I hit enter. And then I click this. Why does it say that I can't block myself? <laughs> You're supposed to be able to pin in here. Huh. Well, I'll pin over here then. That's how it's supposed there to do you, it. There you go. Hello, Cindy. All right. Okay. First and foremost, you guys, next week, I am doing a collab Christmas sale with Julie Smurf. Vintage only. She set rules. <laughs> no UPC colds allowed at all. Thank you, Jen. Got some good stuff lined up too. Got don't some you? good some good stuff lined up tonight. Good stuff lined up next week. Yes, all vintage with Julie Smurf. And after that, aren't you doing a? Oh yes, collab and um, if you saw my live stream. On Sunday. Sunday, we found 800 pounds of jewelry. Now, a couple of people were like, really, Jan, 800 pounds? That was with the suitcases and the containers. <laughs> mm, that's a lot. Mm. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then um, Miss Pamela Blanchard agreed to do a jewelry sale collab with me. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it on her channel. She's going on vacation, I think, the first two weeks of August. So it's going to be after um, after she's back from vacation. Oh, looks like Nancy's going to be back at it soon. She's going to have a live sale on the 15th for the Night Owls, 11 p.m. Eastern. Glad you're feeling better enough to sell. It's been oh. like a month for her. It's been over a month, poor yeah. thing. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, Miss Grace. Hello, Trisha. Tammy. Hello, Mike. Thanks for coming back. Let's see. 
Did I miss anybody? Hello, Rhonda. <gasps> Hello, Miss Lana. Belinda, it's Jan and Babe's time. <laughs> Yes, I think they named, um, hello, Miss Beth. I think they named the show that I'm doing with Pamela. What did they say? The Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam. Yep. <laughs> and it's going to be exciting. And there will be a lot of craft lots. So I have been sorting that jewelry. I spent, um, Four hours. All, pretty much all day. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. Monday, Monday yeah, we Monday. head off. Um, because that's uh hello, mama's treasures. Did you get my email with my top secret name? An email a couple weeks ago. Yes, that's why I called you Brett. <laughs> Will not tell your top secret name. <laughs> I forget, she's, I forget what she said she was undercover from, but it was really funny. Hello, Miss Claudia. Welcome, welcome. Never seen your face before. Yes, Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam will be in August. Um, I should write a song for that. <laughs> you should. Let's see. The 14th, Wednesday the 14th. Aw, well, thank you for coming, Claudia. If you want to purchase anything tonight, please send um, an email. It, I got a little banner running here somewhere. Antiquesfromkaren at gmail.com with your uh, YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, your PayPal address. I ship from Rochester, New York. Yes, there are a lot of craft lots. Thank you for getting me back on track, Miss Sally. <laughs> So I was going through, um, oh, I know, right? Hang on. I was going through all the jewelry, um, and I didn't even get into the suitcases yet. I was just going through the clear ones, and I'm sorting out the stuff that's like missing stones and stuff like that, and I'm putting the brooches together, and um, I know I keep promising content. I have it, I promise, but work has been so busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. Busy, crazy busy. And uh, yeah, I used to have a little bit of downtime at work where I could like get things done. And, yeah, not so much lately. So um, there are some beautiful, beautiful brooches. There are some Christmas brooches. Um, I'm going to bring some to uh, next Wednesday, Wednesday's sale. Hello, Anne. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Wednesday the 14th, Julie Smurf and Jan, Vintage Christmas, no UPC codes allowed. And third week in August, Pam hasn't given me the date, but Pamela Blanchard, um, Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam. You ready to load up, baby? Uh, you tell me. I'm okay. ready whenever you are. Okay. So. I just want to say hi to peoples. Get her I started following you because people were talking about your huge jewelry, jewelry haul and other live sales. I sent you my info. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Awesome. We will have some Christmas jewelry next Wednesday and then a good portion of the jewelry I'm going to uh, hold for Pamela Blanchard's sale because she's going to help tell me um, what to do with it all. Oh, that's what I was telling you. So I bought some of that. Um, it's like pink foam board it goes under siding on houses and i covered it with like black velvet and blue velvet and you know stuff from my craft room and i'm putting all the brooches on boards and stuff so i'm putting the the stuff i know cloist the cloisonne stuff um you know together and then just yeah and then craft lots lots and lots and lots of craft lots i just haven't figured out what to put them in yet i'm I want it to be something cute or something. Um, people say jars are too heavy, but I think the jars are cool, and I have a lot of ball jars, but we'll see. We'll see how that works. All right, babes. All right. Where do you want to start? <clears throat> yeah. 
Nope. No. No, that's later. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Both of them? Yep. Together. Both of them together. All right. We have some modern stuff. We have some cheaper stuff. The dirt is free. <laughs> and the reason that, wow, those are really dirty. Well, the cover is. Yeah, that's the cover. There's, there's two of these. Two of those. Hold on. Let me, these are brand new in box. They're probably from the 90s, which I know is considered vintage. Why isn't that switching? Oh, there we go. There you go. Ziploc bags are fine for craft lots. There is one missing from this box, but the yeah, other just... box is complete. Boy, oh, don't want to come out of there. Yeah, be gentle. Sure. You got. I got fingernails. You do. I don't think they're. No, I don't want to. I don't want to try to get them out. Okay, folks. Here. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Clip the little clip. Mm-hmm. So these are really cool, and if you want to do, I know a lot of people, um, oh, thank you, Lissa. Regional rate A boxes will hold a ball jar at decent cost, just letting you know. Perfect. So a lot of people were talking about having multiple Christmas trees with different themes, and I've never seen, um, I'm a quilter, you guys that have been following me know that. So like the color wheel, you know, there's monochromatic and there's all these different kinds. These are across each other. It's tri trichromatic or something like that. Um, but these colors, they go really, really cool together. Hey, Brandon, thanks for coming. So this lot is going to be... Oops. This lot is going to be um, a set price, $20 for both boxes for the purple turquoise and lime baubles. $20, number eight for two boxes of ornaments. $20, number eight. Are those silver tops, babes, or yes. brass colored tops? Okay, silver. silver tops. I see you, Belinda. And anybody that is waiting for invoices, they're all coming. Everything's packed. We've just been swamped with work. And you can't you can't uh, print pirate ship labels um, with a date on it unless you swear you're going to go to the post office that day. Yeah. So I have been very nervous about um, picking the, the right day just because work has been so busy. Okay. Yep. Belinda. Here's your number. Hi, Amy. Thank you. Analog analogous colors. Hey, Chuck. Glad you can make it. You don't usually make my sales. Miss you guys. Okay. What with being busy at work and everything else, I'm also very behind on my watch later list is holy crap. <laughs> it's huge. Sure. These are, oh, that's a good idea, Amy. These are vintage Christmas cards, a full pack of them. It is very young Santa. And that one on the front is an actual um, card. No UPC code on this guy. We're going to call them young Santa cards. And we're going to do this one as an offer up. Starting price, 
ten dollars yes that's before he met the missus and filled out <laughs> and ate all her cookies and her baked goods 20 christmas cards 20 christmas cards with decorative envelopes. starting ten dollars no upc codes otherwise if you have little gift boxes in your christmas wrap stash you know that's not a bad idea. Maybe we could use the wrapping paper and just wrap. Eh, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Annie. Oh, yeah, her haul with Jamie. I haven't watched that one yet either. All right, we're going to set these cards aside, show them again later for all of our West Coast people when they come on, see if they're interested. <coughs> Hello, Christina. Where do you want to go next? Um, do some Hallmark ornaments. Whatever you want. All right. um, one so do you guys want to see Hallmark ornaments in lots or single ones? Perfect, Amy. Staple up little grab bags for the craft lots. And we could put, how can I put a little window on them so you can see in them? Yep, so there's all, three. All the same. Yep. Here's in the box angels. Babes will only, only open one. In a sealed bag. Mama's so. treasures says singles. Yeah, but we got three of the same, so we'll uh Yep. All right, and these three angels together are gonna be twelve dollars number twenty eight. $12, number 28. <laughs> They're teasing each other. Ziploc freezer bags. Yeah, I'd probably just do that. Hello, Dolores. Yes. There is a lot of craft lot jewelry. And wait until you guys see the ones that inspired a lot of her jewelry accumulation. I found a bunch of them where they're all like, you know, they were they were made by artisans. What is she holding? What was the little angel holding? Oh, a, a candlestick. Um, An actual candlestick? No. Open it back up. Yeah, open it back Should up. I no, just try to get up real close. Hello, Pat. Again, there were three of these. Oh, yeah, you can put a little, like a birthday candle or something in there. And they're brand new, so they're not tarnished in any way. And they were $12, number 28 for three of them, new in the box. You're welcome, Anne. Yes, Rhonda, show craft lots and Ziploc bags. Love that method. Yeah, I really wanna get rid of the ball jars though.
Babe's had his birthday. Me. Mine is next. Thank you, Julie Smurf. For sharing people's candles. Isn't there candles? Channels. <laughs> Isn't there okay. small candles made about that size for different things like candlelight church things? Yeah. Beth, Trisha has a pretty comprehensive list of vintage resellers on her channels page. Yes. Just, just a lot here in bags. Uh, yep. And the papers, the, the tags and stuff. All of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. This is okay. a a lot, a large lot of gift right. bags. We're gonna start these. Uh, I I don't know how many are there are. Babes is gonna uh, count them out. That's a little vintage horse. Not sure what's going on there. We're going to start these at $15. It's an offer up pile. Little, I love those little reindeer. Hi, Gritty Grat. What did I say I was starting on that? I don't know. Okay. Started at eight. Offer. Started at eight. Okay. It's offer. Yep. Offer up. Starting bid. Hi, Gabby. $8. This is. Um, this wrapping paper is from New England. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. Open that up. It's like really, really neat stuff. They told me to keep cool paper. So this is more for like crafting and stuff. Aren't they cute? They look like, um, they feel like it's they're painted. Starting bid, $8 for this pile of gift bags, wine bags, package toppers. And you know, when you have a last minute Christmas gift and you have to go into the store and pick these up, even that little tiny one is $2. This one's a wine bag. Nineteen ninety four. Yep. It's got your mom on it. Does it? Yeah. What does it say? What? Care and love, mom. Oh, that's my grandmother's oh, handwriting. Oh, grandmother. Yep. Oh. Huh. Mama saved everything. Another gift bag. That one's got a three-dimensional star on it. Not vintage. Well, 90s. I guess they are vintage. That's a good idea, book. Give them the option. For an extra two bucks, you can have it in a ball jar. How's that? There's a primitive Christmas one. Another primitive looking one. That one's cool. I'm holding these up too high. Sorry. It's okay. Cute. What have we got here? Just more. One more, one more bag. Mm -hmm. Little Santa's on it. I see you, Belinda. Wine bag. Yep, wine bag, wine bottle. Wine bottle. They're all in new condition. Starting bid, $8 for the lot. Belinda has the high bid for $8. Wow, that's a steal. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Belinda says, I see nine, you too, Jan. And 11, 12. I sent Belinda. 13. 13 bags. I sent Belinda a picture of my jewelry. She said I was going to give her a heart attack. 13 bags, one set of ornaments, the horse. Yep. And Beth, I see you for nine. In the cool paper. In the cool paper. All right. I'm going to start calling this down. Some of these bags were like 10 bucks a piece. Going once. That is pretty good. I mean, yeah. Going twice. Six dollars worth of that. And five, four, three, two, one, sold. And I don't see the sold yet. I see Beth for twelve. Thank you, Beth. Oh, <laughs> She came in with some just in case folds. <laughs> they say. they like to wore it out. Yeah. Sure, Belinda. Sure, Christina. Okay. Twelve dollars. You're not lagging. I'm lagging. Christina wants. Those she's got to run, so she uh, wants to war it out. Here we got another war, another war going pretty early for these, but right. here? those pink ones, yep. Oh, cool. mm -hmm. right. Starting the bid bag? on these guys is $15. Yep, you can open them. I don't know. We've got to check and make sure that uh, there aren't any broken ones in there, but I think they're pretty good. There we go. Lisa, you got to come on my channel and play with me, but you you are very late at night. One, two. My mom used to have some of these. Like mm -hmm. this. So I know these these date back quite a, quite a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's got this one's got. They should be on later. This one's got some chip. Uh oh. Okay, and we this, got we got one wounded one. Put that in a separate pile there. I see more than one. Okay, that's why I wanted to get them out. This one needs a little bit. 10 p.m. Eastern, yep. I try to wrap up before they start because I like to watch those two goofballs. So the high bid right now is Christina at twenty dollars. We have one wounded. Oh, there's a casual casualty. Oh, we have another casualty in the bottom of the bag. This one's plain. Yep, that one's plain pink. Yeah, that one's really wounded. Belinda, I see you for twenty-five. Yep, and some wounded pieces, parts. Keep them? I guess. You let me know if you want the little broken ones. Christina, I see you for 26. So I don't know the actual official <coughs> name for these. I labeled them old pink indented shiny brights. <laughs> I don't think that's the official name. I 
I see you, Jen, for 27. You're on, you might, uh, might need to refresh, Jen needs. Belinda, I see you at 33. Yes, those are pink. Pink and silver. Do they show up red? No, I'm seeing pink. Yeah. Yeah, they're pink. Okay. They're hot pink. Put, um... I don't know if that helps. Which goofballs do you watch? Alyssa and Noelle on Farm Girl Scavengers channel at 10 p.m. Eastern. <coughs> All right. Um, high bid, I think, is Belinda at 33. Let me know if you're out. Well, I finished 34. 34. Okay. Most call them indents, at least. Yeah, that's what I was calling them. Belinda back at 35. Okay. I found this in a cool tin. Mm -hmm. The tin wasn't vintage, though. Yeah. All so like right. I said, my mom had these when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, these things. Could yeah, and you're only 41. Yeah, that's right. Ten times. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> All right. We're going to start counting this down. Going once. They're like mini jello molds. Awesome, yeah. Chuck. Yeah, they are. Going twice. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and sold. All right. Belinda at 35. Thank you, Belinda. Do you want the two casualty ones, Belinda? Or do you want us to, what do you want us to do with the casualty ones, the two in the bottom of the bag? Looks like you're good under pressure. You let us pick on you. That's my favorite part. What'd she say? Yes, no. I don't know. She'll, she'll tell me eventually. Hello, Jean. Chicago lady. <laughs> Trisha says, I'm <laughs> How many times have you too? been 41, Trisha? <laughs> I was 41 once. I will take. <laughs> I will take the toppers. Okay. Okay. I think that she, the toppers. The, the, yeah, right. She, yeah. yeah. That's just the top yep. of it. Okay. So I'll take those off. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm 31 in my head until I get out of bed. I keep <laughs> telling people that I am celebrating the anniversary of my 25th birthday. And this month is my birthday, too. We're not the same sign, though. You're Cancer, right? Yep. Cancer's your sign? I'm a Leo. I forget how old I'm going to be. I'm going to do the math. Don't remember. <laughs> Wait, I have to take my shoes off to count that eye. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there is Noelle's channel. That's that link right there is to their uh, chat. Some of the past ones are friggin' hilarious. I got on one day when we were talking about quilts and everything else, and Lissa, who's baubles and bling and mm -hmm. needful things. Lissa was, uh, she's like, now everybody knows, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Turns out I, I threw out um, an enormous amount of very valuable um, wool blankets, vintage wool blankets. But in my defense, they had like, um, you know, like an end, like an end of them was like had a hole in it or something like that. Did anyone else get an error message? No. Aw, thank you, Beth. Look, Beth says I can cheat on my diet. She said I can have ice cream. Yay! Not fair. 
Babe's going to do me a super chat song. He's going to make one up. Thank you, Beth. Oh, no worries. These are pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> you tried plugging these in? I have not. Mm -hmm. No, they're new in box. I, yeah, I would wait a little while on those. Let's keep doing some okay. of the smalls. Hi, hi, Captain. Did the happy birthday, but it didn't make it in chat. That's okay. I appreciate it. How's about? She is so sweet. She's so good to me. Little shoes or this lot right here. Do the train. You do the train? Yeah, do the train. Okay. That that one, the top comes off. Of okay. That. All, right. All right, Christina. Have fun at the vet. Is it possible? All right, we got a little vintage choo-choo train. Comes off. Oh, the very, very top. Mm -hmm. Easy fix. I can fix that. Yeah, Not babes can fix it. Not a problem. We are just going to put this on here. It's going and let wrong. it go choo choo. Yeah, guess what? I got it going in the wrong direction. It needs to go this way. Wow, babes. This needs. Your needs OCD's yes. kicking in. You know me. Hello, Genevieve. All right, we got a little cutesy. YouTube is very laggy tonight. Aww. I'll remind people to be in live chat. Yeah, make sure you're in live chat. This is a cute little Christmas express. And they link together. It's got a little teddy bear in there. Little presents. He's got a little horse and a Christmas tree. And then the caboose. Dirt is free. <laughs> Wow, that's you want me to stop it from spinning so your no, CD no. doesn't go in overdrive? Yeah. Hi, Doug. And the cute little Christmas Express train is $12. Number 17. $12, number 17. Uh-oh. Beth says that Belinda's got the upper hand tonight because she keeps getting booted. Whoever's on the internet at your house, kick them off. Mm -hmm. Christmas Express Train. $12, number 17. Oh, wait, wait. What? My, my brain just went into, a, I have a text that I hadn't responded to. Wednesday, July 28th. I'm going to do a collab sale on my channel with Christina at Lilac's Vintage Life. She's going to come sell with us. Yeah, write these things down. No interest in the Christmas Express train. So we'll pull that aside for later. All right. Yeah, everybody's saying... Um... They're yeah, there's storms and stuff. Yeah, storms and stuff. So. Yes, that's you, Christina. All right. So, collab vintage.
Christmas, Wednesday, 714, with Julie Smurf. Collab Vintage Christmas and Stuff, Wednesday, the 28th, with Lilacs Vintage Life. And then I think it's this after the second week in August. The Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam. <laughs> Are you singing, babes? What you got? I don't know. Sure. Fabrics. Yep. A couple of fabrics. I don't know what this is called. It feels like upholstery fabric. Oh, there's the broken Christmas things. Yep. Got a little uh, random Santa fabric, which is great for covering a table or something. I think it's a yard or so. And it's about three quarters of a yard. About three quarters of a, a yard. Nice bright colors. Hello, patinaed treasures and things. Welcome. Never seen you in here before. Thanks for coming. So we got Santa do busy doing all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, now you're committed, Christina. I've an, I've announced the date. Three quarters of a yard of the Santa fabric. And then Babes has two. They're like tapestry type. Well, I tell you, this is, as far as a repeat pattern, it's got a lot on it. Yeah. Isn't he cute? Yeah. 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 Santa's got cookies. He's playing with a train. Going down the chimney, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Playing with the train right there. Snowman. I'm working on, um, you know, in all my free time, making a uh, Christmas scrap bag from my sewing room. He's, uh, checking his list. Right there. Mm-hmm. Dalmatian puppies. Mm-hmm. A couple of different patterns of them. Hi, Marie. Oh, Gabby, I'm so glad you're excited. And here's this one. Yep, so this is more of like a tapestry type thing. And it's got a uh, stocking and two cutouts of angels. And it looks like it's surged on the sides. Mm -hmm. So it was sold that way. The other one's not surged. Crafters, babes. Crafters. Yeah, I mean, and this exactly. one is um, a Christmas vest. It can be an offer up if you want, Belinda. I was just going to set a price. But starting price, $10. Look at the bear. I know nobody makes these vests anymore, but these were just great for a cutout. And if you could do some fancy footwork, you could probably get the shape of a stocking out of that bear. Yeah. Offer, please. I can't fight fast. <laughs> I see you, Fiona, at 11. And Fiona, your box is the only one not packed yet. So if you get anything tonight, I can yeah. I can put something in it. Yeah. 
Those are all in uh, metallic threads on there, on the angel one. Beth, you have a box that's packed and ready to ship, and you have a new box started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kind of reached our limits on the last yep. last box. So. so this this is a good size. Piece. Babe's repacked it to get it an inch smaller because it saved like I don't know sixteen dollars or something yeah, to. Yeah, yeah to be at an inch smaller. Jeez, Mario, oh, look, yeah. Mario, look at this. And every time I notice something different, I didn't I didn't see the reindeer here. Yeah. That's, cute. that's fun fabric. There he is loading up. Loading up his uh sack. You really like that fabric, don't you, babes? I do. This one is this one's really cool. I mean make you a shirt? No. <laughs> Using my HP now, but it's buffering. Aww. I don't see anything. I've got a uh, YouTube going over here. Let me try turning that off. I don't think it'll make a difference because we're the only ones on the internet here. Yeah. All right, we will start counting yep. this down. Going once. Going twice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. Linda, I see you for 20. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Fabrics, Santa. Less than ten dollars. Thanks for coming. You can have a bear? Yeah, let's do the bear. No PC code. So. No UPC code. This is a mercury glass hand painted bear ornament. New in the box. Box box itself is 12. That little guy inside of there, he's probably 10. Yeah. Um, let's see. Should I open? You can if you want to. I think Babes wants to frame that fabric. Hello, Terry. Saw you pop in. Miss Nancy, Terry is like, is trying to reach you. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming back. Hi, Maggie. Mercury glass ornaments, department 56. So this mercury glass bear is twelve dollars. 
number 13. $12, number 13. Yeah, Department 56. What um what number was the gift bag? What uh, number do you have on there? I see you, Belinda. Thank you. Uh, the gift bags were four. Thank you. Sure. Okay. This one was not in the preview video because I found them afterwards. These are vintage Noma bubble lights. New in the box. We're going to try plugging them in. These are an offer up. These start at $14. Vintage Noma bubble lights. Let me turn off the light for you, babe. Oh, three of them are out. Nope. Oh, back on. Well, these things. Uh... Nope. <laughs> well, the bulbs could be just loose. Could be. Are they blinkers? They're not no, blinkers, right? I don't think these ones are blinkers. No, they wouldn't be. of seven um pretty sure oh there oh, they went yes. oh, oh yeah they they might just they, be they loose they just screw in there that's all oh look at you babes yeah, they just screw in there. fixing they were, it they were loose yep that's all just loose yep never been lidded it up High bid is Belinda at $25 for these pretty lights. Vintage Noma bubble lights. And these are the vintage ones. Seven foot long. Mm-hmm. So there's seven lights at seven feet long. So we'll start calling these down. Going once. Going twice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Beth, I see you for 26. Hello, Patricia Gesner. <laughs> she, she goes 27. She cracks me up. Aw, missed it, Belinda. If I find another box, I'll make sure that I put them in the preview. There might be more downstairs. I'm not sure. But I went looking for these downstairs, and um, again, I remember my mom having these. Yep. Oh, this is kind of bringing back. When they're heated child. up, they're really. I know they start they're cold. really they're cool. Like a lot of lamps. Like I went downstairs lamps. hunting in that Christmas room in the basement, and I was looking to see if there was another one. Ah, Belinda, I'm sorry. I will. I will look. I will look. Um. 
to see if there was any more of those uh, wreaths. Those, those, yeah, they bubble. Yep, bubble lights. See if there was any more of those uh, <coughs> wreaths, those hanging lit wreaths, and I found one. Do it up. Sure, why not? Okay. Make sure you uh, plug it in to check it. You don't need that. Okay, and another yep. one of these. This one, the box looks a little rough, but the wreath is perfect. However, I haven't plugged it in yet. So let's let babes. This is uh, starting bid $20. We got a bong bowl. You got one out? Yep. Uh, I believe we, we could throw a ball in there. Yeah. We could throw a ball in there. So this is the the vintage, uh, the one with the, the little plastic candles in the middle. Make sure that bulb's not loose. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad the whole thing's not out. With one light out. We get, I know we got both from mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty? Uh, the other thing I'm not seeing with this one. Uh the cone so that you could put it on top of the tree. I see you, Beth, for 20. Yeah, the, the, I think most of the people, can a man fix it? Yes, a man can fix it. Babes will fix it before it goes out. They like uh, hanging them. Yeah, like in windows and mm -hmm. stuff, yeah. Yep. And this is the one that has the little candles, the vintage candles in the middle that have like the little drips on them, on the candles to make them look like they're melty. Oh, okay, Beth. Beth's son will uh, rewire, she'll fix it. Okay. Uh, you know, these ones here, you can get the colored bulbs, too. I mean, if you... No. no? The white is classy. Okay. Being a reef and all. Uh... All right. I don't see any other interest. So we'll start calling this. Going once. Going twice. Sold. That's grand things. Now you have two of them, Beth. Mm -hmm. Sure, she's got more than one thing. Yes, she <laughs> wants them for um, the windows, she said, overlooking the lake. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Anita. Your bid came after the sold, but thank you for coming. Oh, that's nice of you, Cindy. Anita got it? You want me to give it to Anita, Beth? Anita got 25. 
It can't, did it come before or after the soul? Uh, before. That's what I'm seeing. It I'm, did? Yeah. That's oh, what I'm okay. Seeing. Yeah, that, see, that's why I have my phone on. Because yeah. What everybody else is seeing and what you see seeing, sometimes it's different. All right. Anita, you got it. <clears throat> Oop, you came there. All right. You, um, you want to do this? What do I want to do? I want to have ice cream. No. Yeah, do those. Okay. So there's a fancy schmancy store that I don't think is in business around here anymore, but they used to do lots of little figurines and stuff. And they must have had some kind of closeout sale. These were originally, I think they were $4 a piece. Pardon me. And my mom must have got them on some kind of deal. One. So what two, can I hold one? Three, yeah, I'm getting ice cream. Four. Five, and I can't there's some six, kind of seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. There's a dozen of them. Yeah, there's twelve of them. Mid. Mid Chris ornament feather. So they're they're feathers and they look very realistic. These would be great, I would assume. This is what she got them for was to make some kind of wreath with these. Oh, there you go. Not a bad idea. Yep. There's 12 of those. And they're they're golden and they would be cool on an angel tree. Yeah. You could even make angels out of them if you want. How big are they, babe? Um, you don't think they'd make good earrings? Earrings? <laughs> You're such a man. About six inches. They are lightweight. Yeah. yeah they're, they're super they're, lightweight. They're not um they're not resin though. They're mm -hmm. they're some kind of other composite. It I don't I wouldn't say they're plastic. They don't feel like plastic. They don't feel like plastic. But they're super, super detailed. Yeah. Hello, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Fall, a fall wreath. Now, don't get me going, Amy. Fall is my favorite, favorite, favorite season. Favorite season. So there are 12 of these. And I'm just going to do a set price. $18, number 91. $18, number 91. Thank you, Belinda. Oh, Genevieve, it was a little behind. Belinda got you. At least that's what I see. Do you see Belinda? Uh, or Golden Briar? It's not Belinda. Belinda, okay. <laughs> Yay, Nance. What? She's back at uh, 800 subs. Oh, sweet. Uh, can you drop her link? Yeah, they're, Julie's dropping links out like crazy. Okay. She's a busy little smurf. Want to do little shoes? Sure, let's do the little shoes. These were also from Parkley. And they were originally $6 a piece. Now, these feel like resin, I think. 
Yeah. These feel we need to set these up on something. These feel like resin. They're older. They do say uh they do have made in China stickers on them. But you know, they're from the 80s or 90s. And they're all they got little baubles and beads and Oh, Baba Wally, I bet you she had planned on doing something like that, too. So these are really cool, very mid-century modern-looking shoes. Very detailed, too. Yeah. And they got, some of them have little pearls on them. These are uh, going to be an offer up. Start these at $8 for the whole lot of them. Great for uh, great gifts for diva friends. Like I would buy these for Lissa. I feel like Lissa. Of course, Lissa says that she's only like dressed from the waist up when she does. <laughs> I see you, Anne, for eight. I have a, another girlfriend. Her name is Kelly. 90s, yeah? 90s Victorian style. Okay. I was way off with the mid-century modern. Look at the little buckle on there. Yeah, and satin ribbon. I have my girlfriend Kelly is like the biggest diva of all my friends. These are something I would get Kelly. This one's got some serious bling on it. Nickel. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Welcome back, Fiona. It's a, for as small as these are, they're pretty detailed. What error message are you guys getting? Beth, I see you for nine. Give one at a time. Spread the awe factor. Yeah. You can get one friend's Christmas shopping done for the next four years. <laughs> you're, you're, so do a shoe. The person you think of that buys shoes. Yeah, there you go. I see you at 13, Ann. What's the error message you guys are getting? It says error, check back later, or hmm. Well, that's a bummer. Beth, I see you for 14. I feel like I should give you guys some time. Yeah. It goes gray like you're gone. Well, thank you for coming back. <clears throat> no errors, Trisha? Hmm. You guys have storms where you are? <laughs> <clears throat> Lissa. Diva. Yep, since 2020. Dressed from the waist up, Jan. Going to have to tap out a chat to get dressed, but I'm going to listen and watch. You are rocking this. Wow. Oh, thanks, Lissa. I want you to come on and play with Julie and I on a, on a Sunday Live. I think that would be so fun. No storms, but major heat. Then some numbers, but the chat still works. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so All right, I am going to start so calling this Anne, down. High bid, I think, is Ann. Mm -hmm. I'll do it slowly. Going once. A little slower. I'll type slow. 
going T W I C E enter eight seven six five four three two one and sold to Ann Bardu for the Diva Shoes. Thank you, Miss Ann. Oh, coffee is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Hey, what about me? Babes is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Those times where I want him to know that I really, really, really love him. He's like more than coffee. I'm like, yes. <laughs> do those balls. Yeah. Yeah, those are neat, aren't they? Yeah, those are kind of that's kind of like polish too. Uh, you don't want to just like kind of throw these in a lot or something? Yeah, they're lotted together. Yeah, okay. Yep. There are some a some missing damaged ones, but these are uh, a set of vintage pyramid jumbo jumbo Christmas balls. This is a full set. Jumbo pack. Are those, those are all. Yeah, this, this one doesn't look like it has any broken ones or anything. Okay. This one. That one has several missing. Yeah, it's got some missing. You got broken ones in here. Mm hmm But there's a couple. That is definitely a broken one. Missing the top there. A few scratching dents on this mm -hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm not going to too much on those. Mm-mm. Nope. So for the miscellaneous pyramid Christmas balls, say eight dollars. Number twelve. Eight dollars. Number twelve. Weird that everybody's getting errors tonight. I wonder if it's happening on other channels too. Eight dollars, number twelve. I see you, Belinda. Thank you. Now let's do those first. Mm -hmm. Um, you might want to grab a towel and just wipe them off a little bit. They're a little dusty. They're free, babes. Hmm? They're I know. Free. Thank you, Belinda. My Bluetooth headset shuts down, says input error or it buffers bad. Weird. These are vintagey. What do you think these are made of? Hmm? I, don't, I don't. Is it metal? No. Or plastic? No, that's plastic. But it's a hard plastic that looks like metal. There's four of them. Dirt's free. 80s plastic. Thank you, Amy. Yep, they're dusty. Like you say, an American Pickers burn fresh. <laughs> Babes is binging American Pickers on Hulu, and he's like, I like these guys. I, I forget. The, what's the guy's name? Do you remember his name? Frank, Frank and, and uh, the main guy. Oh, I can't remember his name. 
they never really say his name too much. All right, these uh, these are are larger. I don't know if you could tell by the size of Babes's hands there. Seven inches across. Uh, Mike Wolf. Thank you, Nancy. Mike, yes. About seven and a half. Yep. So for the four red stars. These are $12, number 73. $3 each. Yep, $3 each. $12, number 73. Oh, it just happened to you too? Hmm. Well, I'm very grateful that you guys are coming back. Uh, Belinda, I'm assuming you meant 73. I'm good with that. Thank you, dear. I like those too. Yeah, they really pop on a tree. You know? So anyway, um, the episode that Babes Watch, Mike said something to the effect of, you know, we want to find man junk, not like <laughs> carnival glass. And yeah, <laughs> Babes like, yeah, and... let's find some man junk. One of my Boy Scouts saw my house and said it looked like a combo of hoarders and American pickers because it was piles of stuff and boxes, but it was all cool stuff. Yeah. I don't, you know, this place, the more we install shelves and, you know, get through stuff and everything else, it looks more like a storage facility than a hoarded house <laughs> these days. You know, there's, we got a couple of spots that we still haven't been in. We haven't been in um, the hidden room in the basement. And we haven't been in the upstairs back porch. These are different. Aren't those cool? I would do those two and two. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because these two are Barbie. Gotcha. Um. Aww. They're all the same. Um, keeps the yes, all of them are Hallmark. You missed it, babe. You missed all the Hallmark stuff that we found. These are collectible Barbie Hallmark. There's no, I God, I hope there's no attic share. There is a little square on the ceiling in, um, in the east bedroom in the closet, but I haven't, I'm going to send babes up there with a headlamp. I'm not doing it. 96. Yep. 1996 to, uh, is that one 96 to? Well, yeah, that's, yeah. So the same. No, I want to open it. You can open it. They're new in box, but you can open them. Just keep it in his little in the little wrapper there. Does that lady match the lady on the box? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very classy. something on the bottom mm -hmm. probably the hallmark Nin series yeah well yes this, this is 90 I don't know if they can read it. 1995 yeah. 1996 1995 yeah so this is this what does that say the barbie is enchanted evening 1960 to 1963 Kind of makes you think of a Lucille Ball a little bit when you look at her from the first. Oh, yeah. So I haven't even looked these up. 
So I'm just going to say, uh, I don't know, should I do these as an offer up or should I just do a set price? Yes, book. Exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Healing the hurt in the house. Do an offer? Okay. Um, what do you think? Five bucks each to minimum? So starting bid, ten bucks? I worked for Hallmark for seven years. I am not a fan of the ornaments. <laughs> oh, you probably got your fill of ornaments. Oh, she's cute. She's Barbie too, babes? Yes what it's saying it says it oh can they read that there you go barbie and on the bottom same thing 96 i just grabbed a bunch of them out of that box that we found Native American Barbie. All right. I see uh, less than ten. Do I have registration information from you? Less than ten dollars? I can't remember. Golden Briar for 11. Yep, it's based on the doll with the same look. Daniel, I worked for one every Christmas for three years, and then I spent a year being manager of another one. I think my mother dreamed of being a Hallmark manager. She definitely had a thing for Hallmark ornaments. So I will start calling these. I think so, but I can send it again. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. If you got the email tonight from for about the sale, about an hour before, then I have your, well, at least have your email address. <clears throat> Going once. Going T W I C E. Enter. I feel bad. Everybody's getting errors. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. I bet, Daniel. <clears throat> Let's see. I see share fines for 12. Babe, can you check and see if it's after the sold or before? Uh, share fines was after. After? Okay. Yeah. That means Golden Briar for 11. Knock them out, babes. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay. This is another set. Yep, another set of ornaments. It's a little angel. I guess we'll do the same thing. I don't know any better with these. So we'll do starting bid 10 bucks for the two of them. Is that one 1996 too? No, I'm looking. Yes. 1996. 1996. Sculpted by Patricia Andrews. What is she holding in her hand? A toothbrush? Well, she's got a star on one That's side. A big toothbrush. 
Oh, take her out of the box. Let's see. Oh, it's a paintbrush. Oh, a paintbrush. She's got a little pink can. Mystery solved. Because I really think it looks like ice cream. And Beth That's what bought me some ice cream for my birthday. <laughs> Starting bid is ten dollars. Oh, she's got. Isn't she pretty? She's got little earrings. Mm -hmm. What do you call that with the candles? Uh, a menorah or something? Like that? It could be a menorah. Menorahs, I think, were a little more elaborate, and that's signed. Look at that. Trying to get it to focus in. Patricia Andrews. Ninety-six. Yep, nineteen ninety-six. Look at her little feet sticking out the bottom yeah. of her dress. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Oh, okay, yeah, because of the different color things. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So she hangs. She's got the hook there, so she yep. must hang. Hangs and flies. Yeah, flies, and so she'll probably fly something like this. A little bit of an angle. Yep. So that's that one. I'm just going to leave her. She ain't going to sit up. I'm just going to leave her out. And I'm going to open up the other one. She's got her. She's got her star, and I don't want to open it up too much. Um, look at her teeth. Aww. <laughs> that looks like your granddaughter. Yeah. She's got candy canes. There's her little bucket of paint. Stardust. That's what the bucket says. Well, that makes so much more sense. She's I wondered why she had paint with a star. Yeah. She's painting stardust on this. So these she's got little two little ones, $10 starting price. I don't see any interest. So we will move on. Okay. Goes through all that trouble taking them out of the bag. I can put them back for you. No, no, no. I got, I got this. Amy, five dollars for Stardust. Sure. She wants the Stardust. She one. wants the Stardust one with the cute little teeth. Yeah. Thank you. Info sent. Nope, definitely did not have it. Okay. Thank you, Christine. Babes, it's time for a game. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to set this one here. So that's a 16. Mm -hmm, got it already. Okay. Okay. This is the part. Where we play our game, we're a little late, but that's okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna turn that one around, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. minimize it, or well, I gotta get set up first, you know. Okay, you get set up. You caught me off guard. I did. Yes. I didn't realize how fast it was going. Oh, no. So this is the part where we play our uh, Name That Tune, and Babes plays a tune, and the person that guesses the name of the song 
is uh, gets ten dollars off shipping. And the person that guesses the band, right? Yeah, the artist, or is artist? Artist is ten. No, artist is five. Artist is five. Okay, so the name of the song is ten dollars off. All right, I gotta switch camera. Turn your camera around. There's babes. Here I am. I need big. To make, make a stand for this. Yes, please do thumbs up. Okay, I think that looks good. Mm -hmm, that looks good. Where's your hat? <coughs> okay. Gotta get your hat on. Got my hat. Got your hat? All right. Okay. Close the door. So the first person to guess the name of the song gets $10 off shipping. And the first person to guess the artist gets five dollars off shipping you can't get both oh thanks noel hopefully we catch you live but we're running a little late okay take a sip name that tune here we go Yesterday morning, let them know that you were gone. Susan, the plans they made put an end to you. I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song. I just can't remember who to send it to. I see fire, I see rain. I see songs in the rain. Oh, I see sunny days that I thought would never end. I see lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I'd always hope to see you again. They got it, babes. It was fire and rain, right? Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye, James Taylor. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> Beth got James Taylor first. That's who I see in the chat. But I'll have you double check it first. <clears throat> okay. Let me let me fix the camera here. Right, camera. Oops. Back camera. All right, the song is $10 off. James Taylor. Right, let me take a look here, see what we got. You see Beth That's, first for uh, James Taylor? And then she said James Taylor. Yes. Okay. And who? Chicago I lady. I see Chicago man. lady. Yep. Okay. Woohoo! Winner, winner. Name winner, that winner. Name that tune dinner. And welcome to the party. Brett's got to go pull up some James Taylor now. <laughs> Next time I'll do, I'll switch it up. I'll do some country. Okay. All right. All right. Book would like to know if we can clone you. <laughs> nice tune, babes. All right. All right. Let's go big, babes. Go big. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Brett says, no, we need some rap 
next time. <laughs> oh, the the only rapper that he listens to is not appropriate for our YouTube channel. He's cool though. Oh, I gotta turn you on. You do. Here we go. Okay. This is twelve hand painted Santas. 1850. Mm-hmm. 1905. Aw, thank you, Beth. She wants you to have ice cream, too. This guy's She sent us a super chat. You're so sweet. All right, let's see. Let's go over here to this guy. 1890. Seven. Thank you so much, Beth. 1988. 1902. Look at that. An Uncle Sam Santa. <laughs> That's my kind of Santa. 1925. 1992. That's the Santa we know it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or 91. So the box is dirty, but the ornaments have never been out, so they are flawless. Um, I don't know the year on this or anything like that. It just says. Uh, let's see if I can find something. Eighteen fifty. Twelve hand. Ninety one. Ninety one. Okay, it says twelve hand painted porcelain. Let's oh, take shot. Yep. Yeah. Santa ornaments. Yeah, this tape shut, so. Sorry about the glare, folks. That looks nice. Those are pretty. 1991. Yep. All right. And we're going to do, uh, for this set, I'm just going to do a set price. Um, $14. Number 74. $14. Number 74. Huh? I don't know. I wonder what that one looks like. He's, he needs to be spun around. Mm. That would make a cool wreath. That's a good idea. A Santa wreath? Yeah. yeah. That'd be a neat idea. Okay. What's happening? Anybody? Let's do the tin. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the price was $14 and the number was 74. Thank you, Sue. Sue, next week I'm going to do a collab with Julie Smurf. We're going to do, I see you, Belinda. Thank you. We're going to do super vintage Christmas, um, like handmade stuff and all kinds of stuff like that. And then the 28th, I am doing a collab sale with Christina from Lilac's Vintage Life. And then the third week in August, I'll be on Pamela Blanchard's channel for the Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam. Okay. I'll do this too. Yes, that tin. This is an offer up. It's a super vintage Christmas tin. It's heat full though. 
Will you send an email for those, Jan? Yes, I will. And it's full of buttons. And I haven't gone through them. Buttons? That button? That might be a bottle cap. Damn. Well, it almost looks like a bottle cap, yeah. Um, they will be my normal time, Beth, except for the Pamela one. The Pamela Blanchard one, she needs to tell me the date and the time. So this super vintage Christmas tin, show the cover to the tin first, babes. It probably is Grand Marnier because that was my mom's favorite. Yep. It's got a little dent and a scratch in the middle of the season greetings. Oh, nice, Sue. Up to check that out. 6 p.m. Eastern. Lots and lots of buttons in here. Yeah, I didn't go through them. Somebody told me to go through them. I don't want to go through them. All kinds of stuff. So the vintage tin and all of the buttons, um, we're going to start this offer up at $20, which I know is a crazy price, but it's like a mystery button lot. Nancy, I see you at 25. Nancy's got the patience to. That's a cool one. Yeah, there's some really cool ones. It's got actual like rope right in Did it. Did you see the there's a little red one that's got like brass? Here's another one like that. A little red one, huh? Yeah, there's a little red one down there. There's a couple of those. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. They're really cool. What is do art with like buttons and stuff. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you do art with buttons and then, you know, depending on some of them are like modern, but then like Mother of Pearl Mother of Pearl is supposed to be a big thing. Mm -hmm. I just, I I have too much to learn. Yeah. Too much to learn, too little time. Oh, those are others. Yeah. Oh, they kind of, kind of in there. And then there's, I don't know what that is, but it's in the button bin. I know what it is. What is it? The button. You're a goofy. Mother of Pearl ones in here, probably. Fabric covered I ones. These ones. There's lots of cool ones. Yep. Oh, I bet you dig down deep you'll find some really cool ones. Yes. Yes, Jerry, those are Bakelite. There's several Bakelite buttons in here. Never know what's in here. Yep. Oh, what? Another one. Oh, I don't know where my black light is. I think it's home. Uh oh, black light. Yeah. There could be glowy buttons. Did you leave it upstairs on Sunday? Remember? I no, I think I took it. I don't That's know. Right. You took it home for the jewelry. Remember? Oh no, no, no! I gotta have a black light. I gotta see if they're glowy. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I some, had it in my fanny pack. You had some jewelry. All right, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Well, those are more enamel.
Glowy glowy ones. There could be in there. Those are pretty cool. I think those are enamel. Cool. I don't know. Oh, they, they glowed orange. Oh, those ones glowed orange? Yeah. What's up with that? I don't know. They're gold. That's what we do, Miss Jerry. They're gold, but they glowed orange. And we share. Thing. Even if there isn't any that glows, just this much usually costs a lot more. Oh, I know. I know. But I have my own button collection, you know. Well, it's not just the button, it's just the tin, too. Yeah. <laughs> button in the tin. Okay. So let me see where we're at because I wandered away. I see Fiona at 46. I see book at 45. It looks like 46 is currently the high bid for Fiona. So we'll start calling this going once. If you want it, bid like you mean it. Going twice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Okay. Wow, that is some impressive self control, you two. I am impressed. Thank you, thank you, Miss Fiona. You are the proud owner of a boatload of buttons. And a tin. Mm -hmm. Tin with buttons. Yep, we got ephemera now. Oh, geez, I forget all about those ephemera too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, get some. we'll do rapid fire. <laughs> Fiona says, can I give the tin to anyone who wants? Sure. We have lots of uh, tin lovers. All right. We got it. You just um, let me know. You send me an email on who you want me to send it to. All right, we got some ephemera. We have two uh, vintage 90s. Is it not on the front? Yeah, yeah this, that one's this. 1998. These are angel calendars. Two calendars. Julie Schwartz is one of our tin lovers. She didn't come tonight because she's, I mean, it was Christmas, but. What's she doing? Knitting? Sewing? Yeah, she's doing some kind of hand work there. Oh, nice. Here, you can see on yep. the back. Oh, 
we can just do um, a set price on these angels or we can do an offer. Just let me know. This one's new in package. Uh, I don't see a year on this one. No? no? Is it? Oh, it's not open? No, it's not open. 19, is it on the? Pretty, pretty similar. Uh... Piano, you should probably put your email address in. <laughs> you get a lot of buyers for those buttons when you sort them. If I had found that before I took all the jewelry out of here, I may have considered sorting the buttons. No. Nope. And there's more. There's way more buttons. So these angel cal calendars, I think we'll just do, um, I don't know, eight bucks, four bucks a piece, eight bucks, number 77. I don't know what the year is on this one. It doesn't. Not Eight dollars, number seventy-seven for the angel calendars. You're only coming up for a day, Nance. How much sorting you think you can get done? I see you, Belinda. I mean, I spent, uh, granted, I don't know what I'm doing, so that that could potentially slow down the process of sorting jewelry. Oh, I used to sort buttons as a kid. That was one of the, my mom started those, those button collections before the hoarding started. I was one of those goofy kids that I needed to be entertained constantly. My mind was constantly going. My, one of my favorite things to sort was light, bright pegs. I would sort all the colors, and then I would throw them all in one of her tins, and then I would sort them again. Not the same day, obviously. Let's go with a... Isn't he cool? Oh, man. He's cool, right? Yeah. Can you, can you make one like that? Probably. Really? I'm going to call this Pinocchio. That's, I don't think that's Pinocchio, honey. He's no. got a round nose. When you uh, <clears throat> grab his private parts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that is not. That's not what that is. That's not what that is. Oh, God. It requires so much supervision. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot we're on YouTube. <laughs> yep. Same, Amy. I had to do the same thing. I forget what they call these things. God, you got everybody rolling now. <laughs> well, he's only got one. <laughs> it's a pull string, honey. You're supposed to pull it. Why does it gotta pull? Pull it again. No, I'm not playing with Here, this. I'll pull it. <laughs> yes, no. you do it. I'll sit here and watch you play. This is silly. Come up with a price. Who? You pick a price. Do an offer up. Okay, offer up. Starting at five bucks. There you go. <laughs> You're having too much fun over there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play with me like that. Babes! What? You're killing me. <laughs> They're all coming. All of the lurkers are coming forward now. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dying. Oh, for the love. I thought these only dropped with age. Just how old is this little guy? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Wish I knew. He's all wood, though. But I'll bump. <laughs> but you're telling me this I'm stupid sorry. queen. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. What did you start him at? 
five, five bucks. bucks. Five yes. bucks. Okay. He's missing one, so I figured. You know. <laughs> He's not missing. Babes, you need a break. Oh, God. We've lost complete control. <laughs> oh, why did they put the poster in there? You know what I mean? It's... Okay. We're. <laughs> We're putting this guy's whole oh, Bob Wally, thank God. $10. Then <laughs> we're going to start calling it for the jumping jack guy. <laughs> Sorry. He, no, he didn't, Ian. He did. I got to figure out how to bleep it. Oh, God. Going once. <laughs> Oh, high bid is ten dollars. <laughs> oh, Julie! <laughs> Just a swing, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Going twice. God, can we sell it? Sold Baba Wally for ten dollars. Yay! <laughs> She's terrible. Yep. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> You might want to see a doctor, anyways. Babes. <laughs> what do I even call this guy? I'm just going to say Jumping Jack. Oh, God. How's about. Oh, he looks cool. Uh, oh, this is a commercial. Oh, what do you got? Yeah. Oh, those all go together. All together. All right? those guys all together are a lot. Okay. Good deal. Woo! <coughs> okay. <Back laughs> Debbie, pull it again. <laughs> That's what she said. Babes! <sighs> all right. All right. We have some resin ornaments here. Santa's. I did not plan this. <laughs> oh, pair of Santas, really cool faces. Oh. Got little tassels. What do we got here? One-eyed mouse. A one-eyed mouse with, he's got, shoot, <laughs> this new microphone picks up everything. <laughs> he's not a mouse. He's, is he a mouse? Yeah, he's got rounded ears. He's not a rabbit. Okay, he's a mouse. And he's got a little mouse um, nutcracker. Look at his little mouse nutcracker. Keep him away from that other guy. Oh, babes. Mm -hmm. Cool looking Santa. This lot. <clears throat> oh. He was bought in Marshalls. Oh, yeah, look at that. This lot is $10. Number 29. Oh, Yvonne, I don't know where you've been, but man, everything went south. <laughs> That's exactly what, she, what he said, Jerry. Oh, $10, number 29. 
Oh, Belinda. She says, my mom called and I missed all the ball jokes. <laughs> you can replay it. <laughs> $10, number 29. No, I don't have any more anatomically incorrect things. I didn't even occur to me that he would see that that way. I thought he'd be like, oh, this is cool. I wonder how this works and can I make it? Nope. <laughs> No mechanical engineer mind going with that one. Okay. We'll set these aside. Oh. <laughs> well, these are boring now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> she says they do nothing. Oh, what else we got back here? Did we finish? No. Oh, you got um. There's an angel there too. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Debbie, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Welcome to the Jan and Babe show. Uh, you want to do? Well, you got these tassels up here. We got the bees. We got. We got some more. Coming All of there. it. All of it. We got still got all these ornaments. Yeah, bring this one. So this. Yep, bring that one first. Okay. They look like candy canes. All right. Yes, yes Yvonne. After she gets back from vacation in August, the the Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam. Just put it up there, babe. Just put it up there. Just put it up there. I dropped part of it. Yeah, Came it's off. it's twisty. Yeah, I see this. Yeah, that's why it was. So this is just some really cool looking garland. There's two um, strands of it, and it's like a special twist. Yeah. <coughs> just grab the end of it, babe, and show how it's all twisty. All right. Twisty garland, sparkly, plastic, five bucks, number 35. For the red and silver garland, twisty garland, two strands, five bucks. I see you, Jerry. Make sure you send me your uh, your address, honey. <clears throat> Good. Yep. Next. Do the gold ones. All right. Oh. Okay, I didn't see those. Yep, sitting there. I know. You know how many times I've had them out there, and we neither one of us see them. Oh, they're trying, man. It's a good thing you're not reading the chat. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to get you going. Here we have a whole bunch of gold garland. Bunches and bunches of packs that were opened, and there's lots of feet. And uh, let's see, this, yeah, this is multiple. Multiple, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's going to be, yeah, three sets in here. Yep. There's three sets in here. At least three sets. Um, eight bucks, number fifty-two. <laughs> so trying. Eight bucks, number fifty-two. Golden garland. I see you, Belinda. Thank you. Belinda got some pink ones way back when. Yeah, yeah I'm.
<clears throat> what else can be done with garland? I've ruined many a tree with them. Go around the doorway with these. Yeah? Oh, was it silver? Someone else got the pink Windows. ones. Ooh, a flapper costume. Angel? Sure. Wreath, yeah. yeah. Hi, Robin. All right, this one is a porcelain porcelain head. What does it say on the side there? Animated tree topper. Now, the problem with that is it's animated by plugging it into a light. Yeah, well, that goes into... The light strand. Yeah, the light strand. You plug it into a regular light strand, like, okay, a, like well, a bulb. Well, we have to test that. A regular... Can't, can't go without testing. Oh, wow, those are obnoxious. Holy LED. So what you got to do is you got to unplug one of those and mm -hmm. we'll plug this right yep, in. Yep, hang on, I'm just trying to... This is a very poor choice of sample stuff. Don't go in there. This is just a doesn't won't fit in that one. Won't work in LED. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Oh, that's LED. Yeah. Um, need one of those old school ones. Glad people are Keeping track of what I'm doing here. Well, work in LED. Well, we got lots of lights here. Um, well, while you're looking for lights, I'm going to show her off. Okay, show her off. She's got like a childlike kind of face. They're not LED. These are older ones. Okay. Did you already take the light out? We'll try putting the light back in for a second. Let me see if the strip works. Okay, so that strip works. So she's moving on her own. Oh, she moved. Yeah, she's animated. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. It totally blew my mind on that one. Really? I wasn't expecting that, yeah. Animated angel. Look at her. She's opening up her hands and stuff. Yeah. So this is this was one of those like higher end uh, department store Christmas things. She's got um, 
porcelain head, porcelain hands, animated. It looks like she was originally $54. So animated angel. I don't even know what to price this at. So I don't know. Should I do an offer up or a set yeah, price? Offer up. Offer up. I don't know. Somebody make an offer if you're interested. 20 bucks? If she says anything, run. She's not <laughs> talking. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one like that. Before. Really? Yeah, really. Tree tower that moves. Uh -huh. When in doubt, offer up. True mm -hmm. story. I see you, Jerry, for 25. Thank you. 10 Hail Marys and five Our Fathers, Belinda, then you're good to go. <laughs> oh, they're still coming up with ideas for the garland. Uh -huh. Just reading back at some Belinda's comments. <laughs> oh, it is not. She's super sweet. All right, I don't see any other interest, so we'll start calling it. Going once. Going twice. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Thank God for Amy. I don't know how long I would have been trying those LED lights. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. Tim said it'll freak out our son in law, which makes me love it even more. <laughs> Stuff is done. That's done. Um, this wasn't done. You know, we still got all these ornaments and this ephemera here. Uh, okay, do the do the ephemera. Oh yeah, we gotta do those. Much here. Okay. Did we put this back together? Uh, um, or does the no. angel have the light? Oh, the angel has the light. <clears throat> okay. I'll make get sure, it. Make sure you swap that out. All right. So this is another <clears throat> lot from that Park Lee place. These fancy schmancy things were six bucks a piece when they were originally sold. We're going to do these as an offer up. I don't know how many there are. Super classy, all beaded. If somebody wants to do like a unbelievable royal tree mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah all beads yeah all beads 
So there is one. We'll say starting two, price. Two, three, four. Twenty five, bucks for all of them. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll ten, see you, Belinda, for twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You gotta get your camera 15, down a little closer. Fifteen. Fifteen of them. <clears throat> They're all, uh, they're glass beads, I think. Let me have one, baby. Let me see. No. Oh. There's a lot of work that went into these. <clears throat> So there's in on the tassel parts, there's seed beads in between all the long beads. Oh yeah. Curtain tiebacks with Jan's ball chain. <laughs> She's baiting me. Who made them? Um it's made in India. Uh, Midwest of Cannon Falls. I don't know. They're, I guess they're ornaments. They can be ornaments. Could be earrings. <laughs> they could not be earrings. No, I, I think they're mm -hmm. definitely ornaments. I mean, you got, yeah. you got, you got the string. Belinda, I see you at 25. Yep. These came from a place uh, called Park Lee, and they're all individually um, tagged and and whatever. So they weren't yeah, no, they weren't they, a set. They, they, were, they were single sold, ornaments, sold, sold single, six bucks a piece. Six bucks a piece. All right, we're going to start calling this. Going once. Yeah, so 10 of these would have been 60 bucks. Mm hmm. Going twice. And so. Fiona wants to buy one from whoever wins it, if possible. Belinda says, babes could pull them off as earrings. I could totally see it. <laughs> Ellie Dancer Ornaments. Very cool. All right. Sold to Belinda for 25 Golden beaded tassels, we're going to call them. Good price. Yeah, great price. Ah, oh, good night, Julie Smurf. Any more vintage Christmas? I am yawning like crazy. Let me see. We have um All right, we got here. Little tassel bells. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the door, huh? Yeah, you can take that out of the box. Yeah, we have Hallmark ornaments left. Lots of, Lots of Hallmark yeah, ornaments. Bundle, bundle that um, we did the pull chain guy. We did those. Yeah, we did those. Uh, we did the shoes. Aren't those weird? Yeah, those were supposed strange. to go with the with those, but that's okay. 
and then we have some um, Christmas ephemera. Like this year? But the super vintage stuff is next Wednesday. With Julie Smurf. Are you selling Belinda? Let's see. Congrats. Tell oh, babes. Congrats, bells. Tassels don't go on a woman's ears. Oh, you are baiting him, Jerry. This was never open, so. Nope. Never opening open. for the first time. Oh, wow. these, these are good size. Aren't these cool? Wow. These are good size. Hey, we can go. We can go Hi, play. Kayla. Uh, Thanks for coming. Everybody grab a bell. We we'll go play Salvation Army. Or the pot. Anything to yeah. glue, drape, or otherwise god my house with. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. These are a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. These are some mongo. These are big doorbells. With a big hook on them. Yeah. Put this on the front door. Probably. Yep. Little bells. Bells. Doorbells. Ten bucks. Number thirty-six. Ten bucks. Number thirty-six. Yes, they could. Be, they could be doorknob. That that could be the purpose. But they would hang down pretty good. Yeah. I see you, Beth. Thank you. Wind chime. That's more like cowbells. Yeah. Right. That was an amount for up. That was set price. Yep, that was a set price. Okay. Brand new ease. Yep. These little miniature guys are Hallmark, and they are super cute and tiny. Oh my god, so tiny! Oh, the itty bitty, itty bitty. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, they're just little, little itty bitty thingies. Oh, I wish you got their cook Christmas cookies. And he, he's mixing the cookie, cookie bowl. Those are super cute. Yeah. Let me um set them up on here so everybody can see them. Huh? Open up the other one. This an offer up, babes? You pick. All right, yeah, let's do an offer up on them. Got a little bear. Started at eight. Eight bucks. Started at eight. OK. 
Okay. Oh, she's knit, knitting a mitten. Won't focus. There we go. 95 Hallmark. I see you, Belinda, for eight. If they were all bears, it would be like a family. Look at how cute they are. They're so tiny. They would fit in those little um those little knickknack things, the little, you know, the little tiny. Look at how cute they are. I like the little guy mixing. He's sitting down. All right, I don't see anyone else. So we'll do going once. Going twice. And so to Belinda. Belinda's house is going to be killer at Christmas. I know. Christmas minis, we're going to call them. There you go. They are so sweet. Might need a couple more houses. You know, I saw a house today. I don't know where I put it. I'll bring it on Wednesday, Belinda. Let me write myself a note. Uh, like a gingerbread house or something? It's it's like a little um I think it's ceramic. The little ceramic houses. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's um bring that train back. Yeah, we got more order. Oh, oh do I? Yeah, you got these cards too, and this will come. Okay. So let's start You want to do these postcards? Mm. Bear with us, folks. She's getting a fork. Next up. Box of vintage Christmas cards. No, uh... No, um, UPC. Yeah, UPC. No UPC. 16 cards. I don't know if I can read that. They were originally $12. So we'll start them at 10 Speakers. Those. I forget what somebody told me the other day what those are called. They're there not they're go. not Santas, they're Norwegian something something. Help me, Nance. I think there's more than 16 in there. Good luck. Oh, yeah. oh, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 13, 16. Yeah, there's 16 there. Oh, I can handle that request, Beth. There are some people that don't like them in sales, though. So I'll send you some pictures. Singer Claus. No, I forget what they said. There was something, 
somebody told me that you you leave porridge in the woods for them, Norwegian something. I forget. Is he naked under that? Sinker claws. I don't know. Oh, I got some scary ones, Beth. Let me write that on my little list here. Clowns. Scary. Beth. All right. I don't see any other interest. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Belinda for $10. I call him old time Santa, but he's not old time Santa. Yeah, see? See, I don't want to upset Doug. That's why we don't bring clowns to sales. All right, we have some uh, Santa calendars, ephemera. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Aren't those neat? They are. I like those. They look like patchwork Santas. Yeah. Yep, Belinda doesn't like clowns either. There are some resellers, babes, where I've watched their sales and they've literally given a trigger warning, yeah. told people to look away, yeah, and told yeah. them when they can yeah. look back again. Okay. That's it, Anne. Jewel Nissen. All right. So we got, uh, I think there's three calendars yes, here. There's three. It's got you got ninety six. Yep, we'll start the. We'll do an offer 90, up on these. A ninety eight, and then you got another ninety eight, and this is obviously a, a big, yep. yeah, a bigger one. I'll open that up in a second. Um, so we'll start these at six dollars. In their cases, two bucks a piece. Yeah. Jerry, I can send you pictures too. Aw, look at that. He's got, he's like Snow White Santa with all the birdies all over him. I, like I see one. you, Beth. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. That one's got lots of stuff you can cut out. This one's kind of cartoonish. Is that a Jan Brett image? Is Jan Brett the author on those, babes? Jan Brett. Yeah, does it say on the back? Let me see that. I'll look at that while you show. Uh, 1995. Oh, look at that one. Main Street Press. Look at this Doesn't... One. No, illustrator is Sherry Buck Baldwin. Look at this one, Jess. Aw, I that's, like that one. That's so cute. Hmm. Sherry Buck Baldwin. That one's pretty, too. Yeah. Some of these would look really cute framed. Yeah. yeah definitely. Clown. Honey. Sorry. Trigger warning. <laughs> That's obviously a quilt. Oh. Lots of stuff to play with. Oh, that's with. August. I was going to say, look at Santa. Christmas in July. But that's August. There's Christmas in July. There's your Christmas in July. Book. He kidnapped a kid. Yeah. Oh, Christina, you missed it. We lost complete control about 40 minutes ago. That's cute. 
Babes and his unexpected wit. Okay. <laughs> this one goes yeah, in that here. One goes in there. We are at high bid is six dollars for Beth. Yeah, you're gonna have to watch it back. You'll have to wait till tomorrow though, because it takes that long for my chat to load and the chat. I don't know what was worse. Me almost being unable to breathe from laughing. <laughs> oh, I like that. Is this the same artist? Is this the That's thing the for that one? Yeah. This one is also Main Street Press. And this is also Sherry Buck Baldwin. I don't have anything listed on eBay yet, Beth. Work has been absolutely crazy for both of us. But the jewelry is the first thing that's going to get listed. Some of it. Buttons. Buttons. There's your Christmas and joy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, right he's, making yeah. toy he's making bears. Yeah, Jointed one. bears. Yeah, you have to read the chat. It had to do with a jumping jack ornament. So look for that. Purely innocent jumping jack ornament. Santa's got little Santas. Okay. Uh, this one. Oh, thank you, Beth. This one goes in here. Got to look at the big one yet. Hope nobody's in a hurry. Yep. No, because a lot of the um, West Coasters are just sauntering in. This is a 96. That's a bigger calendar. Got some serious teddy bears there. Very traditional meal. You know. It's hard to flip these pages. That is my uh, store name. I just opened it, so there's nothing in there except for the book that's been there for like four months. This is cute. Look at the little kid sleeping. Aww. All right, I don't see any other interest in these, so I think I'm going to... He's looking through the window. Start calling this. Going once. Going twice. Right now, the high bid is Beth Grand Things at $6. Going twice again. <laughs> And so good price. <laughs> Seems like you guys just in case. <laughs> you guys definitely like the Victorian stuff the best. I have more of that. <coughs> Um, I think so, but they weren't new in the box. Oh, that's right. Um, so that Matt? Sure, why not? Okay. 
that was supposed to go with the um, gift wrap stuff, but you didn't show it. So pick oh. something for it to go with. Mm hmm So, what you want to do? Um, we can put them all up. We can put them all up. And let them do choice. All right. Everybody we can do choice. a choice thing. I have a, bu a bunch so of um, Hallmark ornaments. These are supposed to go with this, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This one isn't a hallmark. Okay. We'll put that with those. All right. So we give her a freebie. So we have a bunch of hallmark ornaments. Now put them all up here. Oh, running out of room here. I've never, uh, I've never done a choice thing, but we can do choice if you want. You know, or do you just want to do a big bundle? Just or a big bundle. You guys, let me know. You guys, let me know if you're interested in these. I have no problem putting them on eBay if you guys don't want them. We got an angel. Let me bring them up one at a yep, time. Bring them up one at a time. You guys okay. make an offer or something. Help me out here. Teddy bear on a little horse. That's uh, it says sun on it. Okay. Ziggy and his little pet dog, dog with a reindeer antlers yeah. on. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. Again, this is 96. Yep. They're all 90s. Uh, that one's really cute. This is I a like cute that one. one. This one I might take out of the box for you. Snowshoe rabbits in the winter. Uh, yep. Hold on. I'll take that one out of the box for him. Okay. Uh, well, we got, got Santa with a tree. Tree and a birdhouse. I don't know what else that is there. Okay. Got another angel. I know the bunnies are cute. Alright, I'll take the bunnies out of the box. So yeah, one one big package deal, I say. One big package deal. And <laughs> They're well, having this full-on conversation about clowns, uh, sidestepping, scaring people. Christine likes Ziggy, so we'll show Ziggy. Make an offer, Christine. Oh, this is cute. Isn't he cute? Well, check this out. So that's one side. Mm -hmm. It's a little log. <gasps> and you got another web on the other side. Adorable. Yeah, so they're, they're they're hiding in a little log. Santa, one of the tin ones that are like old time candy tins. That one's 1997 for the bunnies. All right, I'm going to take them all out on it. I want to see the yeah the, the Santa one does look like a tin one, but I kind of doubt that it's actually a really tin. Well, it, it might just, be. Just got that tin look. Guess what? What? It's tin. It's tin. It is tin. Yep. Yeah. Sure is. Uh. Yeah. It's got a duck. Okay. Yeah. So you got a. Got a tin Santa. Yep. All right. Somebody said something about Ziggy. Yep. I like Ziggy. All right. 
it, it can be a lot. It can be an individual. You want me to just do them individually? How about we do this? We'll do, um, how many are there there? Uh, let's see. There's three. There's six. There's six. Okay. So we'll start. We'll start at uh, five dollars, starting bid, and you can do choice. So you can pick pick which one you well, want or ones you want. I don't know about that, babes, because obviously this guy's probably these two are probably worth a little more than the Ziggy here. You think? Yeah. I don't know how to do it. All right, we'll do the Santa first. Santa first. All right. Start them off. At Belinda's Belinda's bidding up for choice, so she's saying six bucks for choice. I've never done a choice thing before. I've seen Danny do it before. All right. Six bucks for choice. Yep. So we'll do. Um, I don't know. I'm confusing everybody. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, this thing looks pretty. So let's start with the bunnies. Deanna mentioned that first. So Deanna's at five dollars for the bunnies. Does anybody want to offer six for the bunnies or give it to Deanna? She's a uh, ninety-six. Five dollar high bid for the bunnies. Do the bunnies first. She hangs like that. Six so for the bunnies. Six for the bunnies. No, you just outbid yourself, goofy girl. Deanne's at five. So right flat, now flat on the bottom. So I we're mean, bidding for the bunnies. the bunnies we are going once on the bunnies for five dollars the end going twice on the bunnies i see you share for seven so the bunnies are at seven seven Six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Share fines for seven dollars. Now we'll do the Santa. I know Belinda, it's my fault. What? Oh, they came after the sold. Uh, so that one was for the bunnies. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure, fine. Seven. Okay. okay, Santa. Yep, now we'll do the Santa. In Santa. You're writing this down, right? Yep. Starting bid is six dollars for the Santa. Yeah, I was surprised that he was ten. That was... Mm -hmm. Any other interest on the Santa? Just trying to wait for the lag. I see Patricia Gesner for eight dollars for the Santa. That is for the Santa, right, Patricia? Did Patricia guess? Uh, she did not guess Freebird. She didn't. No, okay. not this time. Belinda is out. Jerry's at nine. Okay, Patricia, just checking. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I'm going to start calling it for the Santa, the Tin Santa. Is that $10, Patricia? Oh, didn't type in the right place, Jan. Going once. Going twice. So and Santa to Patricia Gesner. Patricia, I have your information, right? Double check. Wrong package. Wrong package. I don't see your information, Patricia. So if you could send it to me. I mean, did you did you get an email from me tonight about the sale? Okay. Nope. I don't. I don't have it. Angel next. Patricia. Esna. Ziggy next. Ziggy. Nope, I don't have it, Patricia. If you could send it again, antiquesfromkaren at gmail.com. Okay, so now we're doing the Ziggy. Ziggy is $5 starting bid. It's the 25th year anniversary Ziggy. I see you, Christine. Some pups get ringed to your ears. Christina wants to know what song you did tonight. He did James Taylor. Fire and Rain. Fire and Rain. And he was singing tonight because he's got a new microphone. <coughs> I was going to sing the whole thing if you had let me go. Oh, yeah? yeah. You should have told me that. I just got an email from. Popped up on my screen over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, we are at seven dollars. He did it about, um, it was after nine thirty, so it was about an hour hour and 35 or 40 minutes in I see Eugene for eight my mom did too share she clipped a lot of them the little Ziggy love is remember the Ziggy cartoons the single drawing mm-hmm all right, I'm going to start calling Ziggy here. Going once on Ziggy. Going twice on Ziggy. And so. Chicago lady. All right. Anybody interested in any more of the ones here on the table? We have an angel. Uh, do the angel. Yep. I already got her out of the box. We have an angel. Uh, that kind of looks like June Cleaver. Just saying. 1996. Look at that face. Didn't she kind of look? Well, maybe not. Mm -hmm. 
Belinda, I see you for five for you the know, angel. Now you got your email from Patricia. I do? Yeah. Thank you, babes. I like the way her dress flows and everything. You know, it does kind of gives her that ghostly, spiritual look to her. No, you don't see red-headed angels often. Or orange-headed ones. Mm. Something on there. All right, I don't see any more interest in this. So we're going to do going once on the angel. Belinda at five. Going twice. I got it, Patricia. Thank you very much. I definitely did not have it. Going twice. Sold to Belinda. <laughs> Jerry. My mom was a was a natural redhead, but it was like Auburn. And mine turns red a lot in the summer. Well, it used to. Okay, now we got these two little guys left here. Yep. The teddy bear on the yeah. on the horse. Yep. Right. Anyone interested in the teddy bear on the horse? Yes, Ziggy's famous quote, wherever you are, you're already there. If your son and his fiance both carry the redhead gene, you might get a redhead grandbaby someday. Ooh. Both of my sons got irritated with me when they started uh, growing beards because they had red hair, red hairs in their beards if they get if they let them go to a to a certain length. No. Oh, I see you, Patricia, for five. Teddy on horse. 96. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are all 96. He's cute. Yeah, he's cute. He must have got himself a horse for Christmas. All right. We're going to start calling this. I don't see any more. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Patricia Gesner for $5. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Now, Amy says that that little Noah's Ark one might be a trinket box. Really? We shall find out. And Amy has good info. No, thank you. Does he open? Mm, no, I no, don't think so. Doesn't open. Nope. No Noah's Ark. Oh, look at even Noah's on there. Tim's beard was red before he got old. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Belinda, for five. All right. 
right. I don't see any more you interest. You just got another email. I did? Yes. Well, aren't you the email police tonight? It pops up on my screen over here. Going here. twice. Signature on that one. Sold to Belinda for five dollars. Okay. Uh, we have just those. Screen. You can do those angels together. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Yep. Good idea. We have um, a couple of sets of angel ornaments. They're just um, gold tone and silver tone. And they're cute. So all of these have different buyers. Yeah. And I wrote, the, I wrote them down. I wrote them down like a good girl. Did it? Yes. It I did. thought so. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Those? Uh huh. No more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Put those that all makes together. Makes sense. Ugh. So we brought these up earlier. But the brass tone. Yep. To we them. added these. The brass tone angels. Have a little space for a candle. And we'll do. Um, I'm going to open one of these. You rebel. Yeah. Just a little. So I can put it back in the bag. There you go. So that I can really see. Yeah. How pretty they are. What they look like. So um, there's three of those, and they're a little taller. They look to be about five inches tall. And this is um, a lot for $12. So there's three of those angels. And there's three, four, four of these ones. Yep. And four little silver ones. Now these ones here, each one is different. Yep. Uh, that one's light. got a horn. He's, this one's got a horn. Can you see that? I know I'm getting a lot of glare. Trying. There's no, there's no little candle. In the box, yeah. the candle goes in the in the girl's this one's little got cup. A symbol. This one's playing symbols. Yep, that one's got symbols. Those are the silver tone ones. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one here is singing because it's got a book. Can you see the book? Mm -hmm. I can see the book. All right. I know I'm getting a lot of glare with the plastic and the light. I don't. I don't know if they can see that or not. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. And then the last one, the last one's... Holding out, a little candle. Holding a little candle. Oops. Yep, okay, now show that, one. show that one close up. They want to see where the little candle goes on the brass one. Oh, on the brass one? Mm-hmm. Or gold tone or... So you can put a little... It's just got a little screw in there, but you could put little candles and there's three of those so twelve dollars for the angels and i'm going to change the lot number on this because we added the silver angels number 62. twelve dollars number 62. Right, I don't see any interest in those. Uh, Beth Green things. Oh, you see Best Beth? Yeah. 
Oh, there she is. Thank you, Beth. Seventeen. Yep, they were department store uh, mm -hmm. purchases. They can be ornaments, or they can stand on a mantle. And then I think. I think I was gonna look is to get the stuff there that that's, that didn't sell. You got the train. You got the. There's another there's another set here. Two more sets there. Yeah. Okay, so you changed the number on this, right? You said, yep. I changed like, their number. Yeah. Let's see if these work. So is that the, the number that we had before? This? Yeah. This. Yep. Okay, right there. I'm not... I will. I found um, another set of bubble lights over here. So we'll do an offer up on these. They will test them. That was 13, right, babe? No. Or, hold on. I don't know, Beth. I, I mean, I've looked everywhere for those wreaths, but I mean, it's possible. But I do have another box of the bubble lights. So we'll do an offer up on these. I don't know if Belinda's still here. We just uncovered these when we pulled that stuff off the shelf. All right, we got to make sure these lights are tight. Yeah, make sure they're tight. These are vintage, vintage bubble lights, vintage Noma bubble lights. Mm. Oh, looks like we're gonna die. Oh, yeah. there it goes. Um. We'll do these as an offer up. We'll start these at uh, twenty dollars. Babe's is is fixing it. Yeah. We got a screwy one here. Hmm. Maybe if you take it out of the. I see you, Belinda. There you yeah, go. Fix it, babes. Curious. A little corroded is what it is. And a little corrosion. Now let's make sure they work. Bulbs now, blonde. I think it's just. There's a little corroding. No way. 
it's good. You know what, I bet you it's the ground. Yeah? On that one side. Just take that tab on a little bit. Yeah, Amy says the contact. Yeah, Nancy's saying the same thing. Check yeah. the tabs inside yeah. the socket. This one's starting to bubble over there already. Ooh, look at the bubbles. Hmm. All right. Well, you sure. you I'll, let I'll, me know, Belinda. You're the only one bidding on it. You let me know if you're okay with. I'll fix that. I, I, I know, well, the bulb's not blowing, so that's the good thing. Yeah. So. She's all excited that it's bubbling. Oh. The tabs in old lights are always mm -hmm. the first problem. Yeah, that's what it is. I just need to get in there. The tabs, it's probably like recessed in a little too much. Yeah. I can definitely, I can definitely pull that out though. These are the C7, later the bigger C9. All right, well, we're going to start calling these. Going once for Belinda at 25. Babe says he's going to fix it. Oh, here goes the other one. We got Look two at the bubbles. bubbles. Yellow, going the twice. Yellow, yellow stuff must heat up faster than the red. And so oh, there goes there goes the red. Sold to Belinda. There goes another one. <laughs> Babe seems to know how to tweak those lights. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. So I'm gonna write a note on these ones here to mess with that one time. Yep, to fix them. Contact. Don't she, know book. She bought the other set too, right? No, Beth. Beth got them over her, I think. Oh. And then she started crying, and oh. all this drama ensued, oh, and lives were threatened, and now none of that happened. <laughs> none of that happened. Bubble lights. Okay, so then babes to fix. I'm gonna write it on this notepad here too. Okay. Right on there. Fix contact or just fix contact for Belinda. Okay. Uh I guess the only thing we got left is a, this, uh, those good and wiggly things here. No, the wiggly things, they can just go with those other lights. These here? Yep. So put the train back. We'll bring back. Um, you got the cards. Yep. We'll bring cards, back a couple train. things that didn't sell hours ago. Yeah. But other than that, we are. Did, did he sell these? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't have a card for that. They must have. Yep. Um, yep. We have a train. Yeah. No, they didn't. You're right. Christmas Express train. <laughs> You've never seen that, Doug? Christmas Express train is ten dollars, number seventeen. I'm just gonna turn that in. Huh? Yeah, just turn in. <clears throat> There you saw it. $10, number 17. Well, there's usually a different crew in here by this tower. Oh. I see you, Patricia. Thank you. Under Mark on there, but I got a 
Yep. Fix the top. And then we have another set of Christmas cards. Vintage card set. This one is a Clio set. Hello, Jose. This is a younger, more dapper Santa. Hi, Adam. Late's an understatement, you guys. We're on our last item. <laughs> it's $10 for this set. Do they all say the same thing? Probably. Right? Yeah. Yep. It's a set of how many? Uh, 20. Set of 20. Yeah. 20 cards. $10. 20 cards and envelopes. Number 32. $10, like, number 32. Like that reefy, uh, yeah. his hair He's got all kinds of stuff in his hair. Ivy and toys. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy weather, right? All right, no interest in no that interest. set. Mm. And then the last thing that we have that didn't sell was um, the resin ornaments. Mm -hmm. Did you do a number on those first time you tried them? Mm -hmm. You did? Mm hmm. Okay, we got two Santas, and these are uh, resin. This lot is ten dollars, number twenty nine. Got a little eye patch mouse in there, and he's got a little mouse nutcracker. Oh, don't remind me, Nance. I see you, Patricia. Thank you. Patricia. Yep, Patricia Gesner. Thank you, thank you, Miss Patricia. And I think that is just this one last ornament here. Oh, we have one ornament left. No, those weren't sold. What? These were sold, Buck said. Oh, they were sold to Belinda? My bad. The resin ornaments went to Belinda. All right, I'll check your cards here. I'm sorry, Patricia. We had them on the didn't sell table. Um, it's Babe's fault. It's Babe's fault. And we have one ornament left. Okay. You guys are the best. Yep, this is the angel girl. <laughs> oh, it's not me. Babe's had it on the not sell pile. I was losing a lot of oxygen at that point. I was laughing so hard. See? You guys distracted me and him. This pretty girl, $5. Kwanzaa girl. Yes, yeah, so very close to the airport. Very close to the airport in Rochester. New York. 
I don't, it, they don't even phase me. Been hearing planes and seeing planes since I was a kid. I just, you know, pause for a second. <sighs> oh, right. Oh, what? Beth, it happens a lot with the two of us. It just doesn't usually happen live. I like your earrings. Five dollars, uh, whatever the Kwanzaa girl. Pick a number. You want her, Jose? We had her up earlier. We had two of them up, and one of them, one sold. Yeah, the other one was a little girl. Okay. Stardust. I got you, Jose. Thank you, my dear. All right, guys. Don't forget. Um, she didn't have a number, so let's give her. She didn't have a number. No, let's give her three. It's eleven twenty-eight here. Um, next Wednesday, um, is a collab sale between Julie and I. Julie Smurf, AJ's Julie, AJ's retro and vintage, and it is all super vintage Christmas. A lot of it is like handmade vintage stuff, real kitschy stuff, you know. Um, and then uh, Wednesday, our Wednesday sale, the twenty eighth, is also going to be a collab sale, and that's going to be with Christina. From um, Lilacs Vintage Life. There is one last thing. You want to sell that, baby? We can. Sell Do they it. have time for one more? They have time for one more. They have time for one more. Yeah, they're still they're still here. Okay. One more ornament, five one. bucks. Five dollar. Um, the twenty eighth, the Wednesday, the twenty eighth, Lilacs Vintage Life will be selling with me. The fourteenth. Uh, next Wednesday, Julie will be selling with me. You can, oh, I have to turn you back on, don't I? Mm -hmm. There you go. This is a first Christmas ornament. The Indica. And you put your picture there. Your first Christmas together. Isn't it cute? If nobody buys this, we should send this to your son in Florida. Oh, I don't think that that's their taste. No. Oh, wait a minute. They've already had a Christmas together, haven't they? Does that have a battery compartment on it? No. You put a picture. Well, maybe. Those little lights don't light up, right? I don't know. Kind of look like they would, but no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, five bucks for the first Christmas ornament. Our first Christmas. Uh, 1995. Number 50. Yeah, you, you take, take the back off. And, and you, put the picture in. And you put your little picture in it. First Christmas ornament. And um, the third week in August, I don't have a date yet, but we're going, I'm going to be on Pamela Blanchard's channel. Can I see the tin? What tin? Uh, I see you, buttons, Beth. With the buttons. Yeah. Did she get the tin? Uh, You're talking somebody, about. Whoever bought the tin said they wanted That was Fiona. So oh, so gotcha, I'm gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Fiona else. Fiona won uh, the tin with the buttons, and she said if anyone was interested in the tin, that they could have it. Yes, Pamela Blanchard, it's going to be the Jan and Pam Jewelry Jam. So that's where, no, not $50, you goof, it was number 50.
let vintage and vino have it. Oh, got it, got it, got it. So this is vintage and vino. I didn't see her saying the five. Vintage in vino 31 for the first Christmas ornament. Got it. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. Nice. So, yeah. Um, good stuff. And I'm really, 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 really trying to carve out time to upload all these videos that I have. I have so many videos to post. It did not go fast, Jose. You showed up five minutes before the end. Silly girl. All right. The tin. Patricia wants to see the tin. Okay. We can't show it to you empty because no, it's full of it's full. buttons. There is to load the videos and edit. There is the tin, Patricia. Definitely vintage. Yeah. All the, yeah, all the and it's got some scratches on the top and a little dent and it's got remnants of a sticker of what kind of candy okay you want that there's no uh no charge for that that was already paid for she just fiona wanted to gift peggy page chicago gift the tin Christmas tin buttons to feel you good. I know the the night owls. Nancy Nancy will be back next Thursday night. Um, would be uh the first night owl sale in a while. Um, I know if you guys are um. You can turn this on. Oh. Sorry. Getting tired. Yeah. The 15th. Yes. So Nancy will do a night owl sale. Um, on the 15th. I knew I was thinking it. It, it wasn't coming out. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming. Beth, you sweet thing, you. Thank you for the super chats. And I am so getting ice cream. It might not be tonight, <coughs> but I'm getting ice cream. And so is Babes. You guys are the best. As always, send me emails if you're looking for anything particular. Um, do come to the live, uh, the live working feeds on Sundays. They have really been really, really fun. And I've got some really knowledgeable subscribers that are coming. And, they, man, they are just educating the heck out of us on um, the 10 Beth Grand things. Let Vintage and Vino have. Yep, I got that. I got that. You might be a little delayed. Um, but the Sunday Lives have been really, really fun. Um, and that's a working feed. I got little Julie Smurf off in the corner over here and she's talking and reading the chat and I'm just full screen working through the house, working on an area or trying to figure something out. Last Sunday was when we pulled all the jewelry out um, and it was, it was wow. It, it, it's a lot of jewelry. So that's what the, the sale with Pamela Blanchard, that's where that's coming from. Oh, thank you, Baba Wally. Yes, and if you even if you can't make the live, definitely watch them back. They're not; it's not a live sale. It's it's fun. It be. I'm not even gonna read. You almost got me. Almost got me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, Katie Sunshine. Nice to see you. Yeah, the lamps. But those, uh, those live working feeds on Sundays, um, they're not sales, and they're actually interesting to watch. 
And you can even put me on high speed and make me talk like a mouse like this, and it'll go a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, I need bed. All right, guys, babes. Yeah. Say goodbye. I know I need to put them up, Jose. Oh. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for coming. See you later.